problem. So for this point, I have the endpoints of the diameter are 3 comma negative 3 and 1 comma 5. All right? 1 comma 3 and negative 1 comma 5. So um, what we're going to do for this problem, all right, is, um, yes? Sure. Sure. So what's the so you needed to do that, right? Let's just go, I'll call it comp. Use that. You have to know what the center is, though, right? So what's the center then? You gotta figure it out, right? And then how far are you gonna set that apart, right? If you're gonna use a compass and you're gonna want to spread it apart, how far do you spread it apart? So we don't know that information, right? It could be one unit, two unit, three units. So Yes, to use a compass, let's go ahead and, Juliana, let's go and see if we can figure out that information. So first of all, what I'd like to do to tell you guys to graph this, all right, the first thing we need to do is find the center, right? We can't find the center unless um, with this, um, we can't graph it unless we know what the center is. So let's plot our points. So we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. Then we have 1, 5, over 1, up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right? Now, Wendy, when you look at these two points, can you determine where the center is by looking at these two points? <coughs> these are the two points of the, of the di diameter, by the way. So that means they cross directly across your center of your circle. So you could probably guess pretty close that it looks about right there, right? Wouldn't you guys agree that's kind of like the midpoint? Oh, yeah, I did. That's one, two, three. Thank you. It's been like a horrible day for me. Seriously. I guess that's it. So anyways, we can kind of figure out where this midpoint is, right, Wendy? Would you, could, you, could you kind of look at this and say, ah, it looks like the midpoint's probably like right around here. Don't know if that's exact, but that looks pretty close, right? So probably maybe a little bit lower. But let's now, what we're going to have to do is algebraically, let's prove where that midpoint is. So we know the midpoint formula, right? So if we said that this point is 1, 5, and this point is 3, negative 3. So now by knowing these points, if I know, if I say this is x1, this is y1, and this is x2, y2, then what I can do is simply find the midpoint. And the midpoint is going to tell me exactly what the radius, or I'm sorry, what the center is. So I do 1 plus 3 divided by 2, comma, 5 plus negative 3 divided by 2. So therefore, I go 1 plus 3 is 4, divided by 2 is 2. 5 plus negative 3 is negative 2, comma, 1. So I go over 2, up 1. So my center is right there. I was very close. So now I found the center, right? So now if you're going to put a little compass thing, you put it right there, right? And you have to circle it around, correct? But the problem is, how far do you have that compass set out? Do you have it like for a circle this wide, or do you have it for a circle this long, right? So what you need to do is you need to determine what this radius is. Well, obviously, yeah, you could probably use that given point, right? But it's that you don't have one then, OK? You're on an island, and you didn't bring your compass with you. So what you're going to have to do is still find the distance from the center to that point. So you have to find the radius. So do we know how to find the radius? Or to find the distance? Of course we do. We need to now find this point, which we said was 2 comma 1. Now we need to use the distance formula, which I'll call this x3, y3. All right, It doesn't matter, guys, what you call it, x1, x2, x3. All we need to do is find the difference of these two points or the difference of those two points. So I'll use these two points to prove my point. So the distance equals the square root of, let's do x3 minus x2 squared plus um, y3 minus y2 squared. Again, ladies and gentlemen, it does not matter. I could use x3 and x1. Okay, It doesn't matter. I just need to find the difference between those two points and square it. So therefore, d equals the square root. x3 is going to be 1 minus, I'm sorry, x3 is 2 minus y, x2 which is 3 squared plus y3, which is 1, minus a negative 3. Notice how I put it in parentheses. Can you split as a add and plus 3? 
Yes, you could. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 1 minus 3 is going to be 4 squared. So therefore, my distance, which is actually equal to my what? My radius, is equal to the square root of 1 plus 16, which is square root of 17. OK, so now I know my, Question. yes? Um, so you don't have to use an existence thing. You have to use the center. Huh? I'm asking you what the center and what the radius is on this question. Well, I mean, I'm so then, if I know it, um, so I'm sorry. Yeah, my r equals square root of 17. But actually, does it ask me to write the equation? Yeah, it says write the equation of the line, actually. So if I know r equals square root of 17, my equation doesn't ask for r, though. What does the standard equation on my circle ask for? Well, got to know. What does it ask for? What does my standard equation of a graph ask for? It doesn't ask for r. It asks for r squared. r squared. So if I square both sides, I get 17 equals now x minus my h, which is my x coordinate, which is 2. So it's going to be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared. And that is now the equation of your circle. So I, I, even though I could have graphed it, which you can kind of graph something like that, but if I'm asking for the equation, you've got to know what the radius is in the center and how to find it. Okay. Okay.